Well, radioactivity, which was her word, was a new phenomenon. And that's why she got interested in it. So x-rays were discovered in 1895. Mm -hmm. And that was a huge interest. A, a thousand papers on x-rays got that published. That got the first in, Nobel Prize in physics. Yes. Wilhelm Röntgen in 1900. Okay. That was the, the discovery of x-rays. What an yeah. unfortunate name, but. What, Wilhelm? Wilhelm Röntgen. <laughs> Röntgen. In fact, we're the only ones who call them x-rays. Everybody else calls them Röntgen rays. Röntgen rays, right. What, what? You didn't know that? No, I did yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, we got your Röntgens back. <laughs> <laughs> and it appears that uh, your wrist is fractured. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah that's not, that doesn't work for me, you know? We got your x-rays. I don't know, it just sounds great. What, what did know? Wilhelm call them? He called them x-rays. Well, they're yeah, well, yeah, 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 we, yeah, we, we were there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the very next year, Becquerel in, in France. Henri, who, Henri Becquerel. Henri Becquerel. <laughs> now, uh, so, you yeah, know, that's a good name. Multicultural, we yeah, are. That, that's yeah, that's a good one. Huh? Henri. Yeah. So he was curious about x-rays and wanted to see uh, if, if maybe it was an effect of fluorescence or phosphorescence. But he noticed... And he was experimenting with a, a uranium crystal. And something else was coming out of the uranium that was not x-rays. And he, um, he got very interested in that. He called them uranic rays. 